Into your coats of a lantern Make her a fair and endure I tremble in your holy presence Glory, glory in your sanctuary Splendor and majesty, Lord Therefore you, O life, adore you on the earth will declare that your love is everywhere. The field will exalt ceaseless sound. You are the dream, joy to cry, praising you and so belong. Earn you song I sing. Lord, I will glorify and bless your holy name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us pray in this Gregorian Mass for the day souls for whom this Holy Eucharist is offered. For the departed soul of Basani Kaspar, the Mass offered by family members. For the departed soul of Gade Roja Mary, Mass offered by family members. For the departed soul of Mr. Joy John Lopes, Mass offered by Flory Lopes and family members. For the departed soul of Reshma de Souza, Mass offered by Augustine Parakal. For the departed souls of ancestors of Charles and Maimul, Mass offered by Maimul. For the soul of Brian Jude Fernandez, offered by Anita Saro and family. For the departed soul of Davis, Mass offered by Simi. For the departed soul of Marys, Mass offered by Simi. For the departed soul of Sia, Mass offered by Simi. For the departed soul of Godwillin de Rosario, Mass offered by Patian Audrey. Mass offered for the departed soul of Thomas and Julian de Silva, Mass offered by Vinci. For the departed soul of Gilroy and Octavian de Silvi, Mass offered by Vinci. For the departed soul of Egipso, Sancia, Nora, Rodrigo's, Mass offered by Vinci. For the departed soul of Clorota, Foncia, Mass offered by Sivio and Jyoti. For the departed soul of Telis Pinto, Mass offered by Savio Jyoti. For the departed soul of Dr. Michael Somasundaram, Mass offered by Owen. For the departed soul of Mr. Inasi Francis Xavier, Mass offered by grandchildren. For the departed soul of Mrs. Paraga Samal Xavier, Mass offered by grandchildren. For the departed soul of Mr. Marian Joseph, Mass offered by J.M.L. Vincent. For the departed soul of Mary Sheshikala, Mass offered by Premuel and family. For the departed soul of Lauren Cyril Rodrigo's Mass offered by Mrs. Maria de Souza. For the departed soul of Assisi Cajetan Fernandez, Mass offered by Mario de Souza. For the departed soul of Philomena Cross, Mass offered by family members. For the departed soul of Selena Benedict, Mass offered by family members. For the departed soul of Blasius, Mass offered by Begin Blasius. For the departed souls of Baby and Sicily Baby, offered by Surya Baby. For the departed soul of Mr. Andrew Martis, Mass offered by Celine Martis. For the departed soul of Mr. K.P. Thomas, offered by Mrs. Gimol Robin. For the departed soul of Mrs. Maureen Somasundaram, offered by Leila and Vincent. For the departed soul of Anna Saheb Mohiti, offered by family members. For the departed soul of Katta Rayapa and Katta Kamalama, offered by family members. For all the souls of the aborted babies, mass offered by Felix Valerie Gomes. For all the departed souls of priests and their family members, mass offered by Felix Valerie Gomes. For all the departed souls of nuns and their family members, mass offered by Felix Valerie Gomes. For all the souls in the purgatory, Mass offered by Felix Valerie Gomes for all the souls in the family of Felix Valerie Gomes. Let us pray for these souls throughout these 30 days as we offer Gregorian Masses for them. 
Dear brothers, today we are on the 24th of May. Though we particularly pray for intercede our blessed mother for our various graces a number of days in month of May, especially today under the title Mary help of Christians in a salutation circle every prayer ends with the, this uh, title the father founded don bosco guided his people his children everyone under this title the tremendous help that blessed mother has done in his life in the life of the congregation of salutations therefore dear brothers as all of us would know the tremendous soul that our blessed mother prays we also pray we also offer all these souls through the intercession of our blessed mother as we celebrate this feast may all this be all these souls be taken up to heaven through the intercession of our blessed mother let us feel sorry for all the times we have sinned against god the times we have not given proper honor to our blessed mother and to our god and to all the saints let us say I confess to you almighty God and to you my brothers, brothers and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what, what I have failed to do through my faults through my faults through my, my most grievous faults therefore I ask blessed Mary a virgin all the angels and saints and to you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the Lord our God May almighty God have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life Amen Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Let us pray O God who have been pleased to gladden the world by the resurrection of your son our Lord Jesus Christ grant we pray that through his mother the virgin Mary the mary help of christians and of which title we honor her today may receive the joys of everlasting life through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen, amen. First reading, a reading from the Acts of Apostles, chapter 20, verses 28 to 38. In those days, Paul said to the elders of the church of Ephesus, Pay careful attention to yourselves and to all the flocks, of which the Holy Spirit has made you overseas, to care for the church of God, which he obtained with his own blood. I know that after my departure, wolves will come in among you, not sparing the flock. And from among yourselves will arise men speaking twisted things, to draw away the disciples after them. Therefore, be alert. Remember that three years I did not cease, night or day, to Adamize everyone with tears. And now I commend to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you the inheritance. Among all those are sanctified, I coveted no one's silver or gold or apparel. You yourselves know that these hands ministered to my necessities and to those who were with me. In all things I have shown you that by working hard in this ways we must help the weak and remember the words of the lord jesus of himself said it is more blessed to give than to receive and when he had said these things he knelt down and prayed with them all and there was much weeping on the part of all they embraced paul and kissed them being sorrowful most of all because of the word he had spoken that they would not see his face again and they accompanied him to the ship the word of the lord thanks be to god you're the master for creation 
Protector, preserver, almighty Our hearts always filled with praises for you We bow down to worship, adore you Ah, 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 alleluia 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 The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. John chapter 17, verses 11 to 19. At the time, Jesus lifted his eyes to the heaven and prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name, which you have given me, that they may be one as we are one. While I was with them, I kept them in your name, which you have given me. I have guarded them. Not one of them has been lost except the son of a destruction, that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you, and these things I speak in the world, that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them your word, and the world has hated them, because they are not of the world. Just, I am not of the world. I do not ask you to take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Sanctify them in your truth, and your word is truth. As you have sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. And for, uh, and for their sake, I consecrate myself that they may also be consecrated in truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, in today's first reading, St. Paul reminds them again and again about the difficulties or the temptation through which the flock may run away. Therefore, he gives all his hardships, gives all his experiences to them, sharing with them that how they should be strong in faith, they should not be tempted away. In Acts chapter 15, we know how the community was disturbed because someone comes with a certain rules and they come and disturb. Even today, present world, when we know that something doesn't go in our way, somebody gives something that is new which is not of our own, we run after that but we should be able to know whether it is true or not. Today's first reading, St. Paul reminded their community that nobody should use God's name in vain. Everyone should work for their own needs and the word of God should be spread throughout. In the gospel, the Lord continues to pray for the disciples and he also reminded them and he also gives his own view to the Father saying, everybody will be saved provided that you have a, a repentant heart and to turn to him. Except the one who desire that you don't want to pay any attention, except that particular person, everyone would be able to come back. We see in the story of prodigal son, Luke chapter 15, verse 11 onwards, strictly speaking, both the sons, the father lost both of them, one with, with himself, but still lost, the other took away the property and went away. And he spoiled everything. But the father was eagerly waiting for both of them. One was able to realize and com comes back to. Whereas the second one is left at his own destruction. Therefore, today also as we celebrate the feast of Our Lady of Mary Help of Christians. The feast originally began with, began with the Saint, Saint John Chrysostom in the year 345. It was more popularized by Don Bosco because of a, such a tremendous devotion that he has towards our Blessed Mother. At the age of nine, in a dream, 
he was given a blessed mother by our master and till the end of death he went on he pleaded all his solutions and if he may all the faithful who knew don bosco he always entrusted everyone to the care of our blessed mother it happened at the death of his mother mama margaret don bosco goes to our lady st- towards the statue of our lady saying mother till now my mother has been helping me now my children and myself we all of us are orphan because we lost our mother but you be our mother and guide us our way the same don bosco always insisted upon always spoke highly about uh, how we should be part of a heavenly kingdom it so happened in his life his own friend by name luis comallo when they were together when they were studying they had an a promise saying if at all whoever goes first to the kingdom heavenly kingdom should come back and address the other and it so happened that luis comallo dies and he goes back and uh, a few months or a days later he comes back and uh, in a night he would reveal i am saved these are the words spoken comes back the soul comes back to uh, to tell because these are the holy people therefore they could don bosco insisted upon to his own children that do not seek this kind of graces rather it would affect a lot but pray con- continuously pray so that all would be saved and i as the lord instructed or rather r- lord spoken saying that law master i have consecrated for the sake of his own disciples let us consecrate ourselves to that we may live a holy life so that people who see us who look at us our life may feel that there is a god's presence in our life as we continue to participate in the holy eucharist let us pray for one another especially for whom this holy eucharist is offered may god grant them eternal reward and take them into his kingdom to Jesus I surrender all to Him I freely give I will ever love and trust Him in His presence daily live I surrender Dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice to yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our, for our good, good and good of all His holy church. Receive the Holy Father, this offering of our humility, which we bring you with joy as we commemorate the Blessed Virgin Mary under the title, Mary, Help of Christians, and grant, we pray, that it may be us, for us, who are joined to the sacrifice of Christ, a consolation on earth and eternal salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just and our duty of salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder, mediator between God and man, judge of the world and the Lord of hosts. He ascended not to distance himself from our lonely state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, 
and even the heaven, heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as the acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is you who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending on your spirit upon them like a dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Savior, Savior of the world, formed by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have well this body to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Pula Antony, Archbishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection. Let us pray for the departed souls for whom this Holy Eucharist is offered. May the Lord in His kindness, in His mercy, welcome them into His everlasting life. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, Saint John Bosco, Saint Anthony, Saint Ignatius of Loyola, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, let us dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called for the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter my room, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, let us all kneel in the presence of our Master and pray this litany for the departed souls. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Our response is, have mercy on the souls of the faithful departed. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on the souls of the faithful departed. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on the souls of the faithful departed. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on the souls of the faithful departed. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on the souls of the faithful departed. Our response is, pray for the souls of the faithful departed. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for the souls of the faithful departed. Saint Michael, pray for the souls of the faithful departed. All you angels and archangels, pray for the souls of the faithful departed. All you orders of our blessed spirits, pray for the souls of the faithful departed. Saint Joseph, pray for the souls of the faithful departed. All you holy patriarchs and prophets, pray for the souls of the faithful departed. All you holy apostles and evangelists, pray for the souls of the faithful departed. All you holy martyrs, pray for the souls of the faithful departed. All you holy bishops and confessors, pray for the souls of the faithful departed. All you holy doctors, pray for the souls of the faithful departed. All you holy priests and Levites, pray for the souls of the faithful departed. All you holy monks and hermits, pray for the souls of the faithful departed. All you holy virgins and widows, pray for the souls of the faithful departed. All you saints of God, pray for the souls of the faithful departed. Be merciful, spare them, O Lord. Be merciful, graciously hear us, O Lord. Our response is, O Lord, deliver them. From all evil, O Lord, deliver them. From the rigor of your justice, O Lord, deliver them. From the power of the devil, O Lord, deliver them. From long enduring sorrow, O Lord, deliver them. From cruel flames, O Lord, deliver them. From terrible, horrible darkness, O Lord, deliver them. From dreadful weeping and wailing, O Lord, deliver them. Through your holy nativity, O Lord, deliver them. Through your most sweet name, O Lord, deliver them. Through your most Profounded humiliations, O Lord, deliver them. Through your infinite love, O Lord, deliver them. Through your bloody sweat, O Lord, deliver them. Through your scorching, O Lord, deliver them. Through your crowning with thorns, O Lord, deliver them. Through your caring of the cross, O Lord, deliver them. 
through your most cruel death o lord deliver them through your five most of holy of wounds o lord deliver them our response is we beseech you hear our, hear us we sinners we beseech you hear us in the day of judgment we beseech you hear us you who forgive magdalene did grant the prayer of the thief we beseech you hear us that you would be pleased to deliver the souls of our parents relations friends and benefactors from all the pain of hell we beseech you hear us that you would be pleased to have mercy on those on those of whom no special remembrance is made on earth we beseech you hear us that you would be pleased to grant them all the pardon and remission of our sins we beseech you hear us that you would be pleased to receive them into the company of the blessed we beseech you hear us king of lawful majesty we beseech you hear us son of god we beseech you hear us lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world grant unto them eternal rest lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world grant unto them eternal rest lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world grant unto them rest everlasting christ hear us christ graciously hear us lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy from the gate of hell deliver their souls o lord o lord hear my prayer and let my cry come unto you let us pray o god the creator and the redeemer of all the faithful grant unto the souls of your servants departed the remission of all their sins that by the pious supplications they may obtain the pardon which they have always desire grant this o god who lives and reigns forever and ever amen o eternal god who besides the general precepts of charity has commanded a particular respect for parents kindred and benefactors grant we beseech you that as they were the instruments by which your providence bestowed on us our birth education innumerable other blessings so our prayers may be the means to obtain for them a speedy release from their excessive sufferings and admittance to your infinite joys through christ our lord amen eternal rest grant unto them o lord and let, let the perpetual light shine upon them may they rest in peace amen let us pray renewed by this paschal sacrament we pray o lord that we who honor the memory of our blessed mother may show forth in our mortal flesh the life of jesus who lives and reigns forever and ever amen the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen go in peace glorifying the lord by your life thanks be to god i wasted many precious years now i'm coming home i now repent with the angel tears lord i'm coming home coming home coming home never more to Oh